Early morning check-in time. Oh, are you feeling okay? Sure. How did yesterday go? Pretty well overall. What's on the agenda today, Derek? Uh, well, I've got uh, the stream at 10 for table takes. Uh-huh. And then Friday of Gen Con. Okay, thanks, Gotta keep babe. it going. I love you. Love you, too. Yes. Yeah, probably. I'll, I'll just put Oh, you just saw a very small segment of me doing the, uh, or getting prepared for the Gen Con live show, which you should all check out. The, the Gen Con Twitch, if you like my videos because you could not make it to Gen Con this year, then 100%, so 100% you should check out um, the Gen Con Twitch channels. There's three of them. One is a studio where it's more of a official thing. Companies come and set up their game and pitch their game and play their game. Uh, there is, oh my God, there's other ones. There's two more channels. One is more casual like mine. That's just like walking around the hall, doing interviews, impromptu things, not planned. Uh, and then there's one, there's like main stage events, things like cosplay contests or uh, like the bigger things. So you should check them out. It was a lot of fun doing doing this particular stream. Honestly, I think in the end, what killed me was doing the four hour, um, four hour stream. Before. Yeah, it's a two hour stream yesterday. So doing a one hour stream today, totally fine. It was fun. What is this game? So I'm Jason Goyke. I'm one of the designers of Nexus Redemption. Looks it's an RPG that's a, currently a work in progress that we hope to do a fall Kickstarter for. So I'll tell you a little bit about the Nexus. The Nexus is the center of the universe where all known dimensions uh, intersect. And it's just a void with no planets or, or star systems. But everything is made of these space barges. Everybody lives on these space barges. And it's just a bunch of millions of different aliens. And everything centers around an arena blood sport that drives the economy. And there's, the arenas are built into a lot of these barges. Well, our RPG is everything that happens outside of those arenas. Okay. And the civilians and the fans and the whole uh, industry and economy that's driven by this huh. arena combat. Part of the basic concept reminds me of a leader battle engine. Okay. A little yeah. bit, just because that's what they do in the okay. it's a race, right? More than that, but this nice. is really cool. And yeah. so we have a unique system where you don't just create your character, you're going to create a whole alien species. Wow. And we also have something that we call trait dice. Okay. And, and these are great and they provide narrative cues while you're playing so it's not just pass fail okay. you're just telling you hey you're using your cunning or you're using your deafness That's or your physicality. so the player doesn't necessarily decide the die can help they, they, well they have the dice to help very cool 
Okay, this is lovely. So where do people check it out if they're interested? At d-verse.com. You okay. can find more information. Okay, and then wait for the full Kickstarter to come through. Yep. Okay, thank you so much. Appreciate nice it. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank, thank you. you. What's your name? My name is Brian Hahn. I'm from Southeast Missouri. I'm going to say hi to my daughter, Sarah. I picked this up for my daughter, Everdell Pearlbrook. Oh, Everdell's supposed to be really amazing. Yeah, I played it once the, last year. She got the original one uh -huh. and got it signed. I got this one and got it signed. They got it end. signed? That's yeah. really sweet. Is she's not here. No, she couldn't make it. Okay. That's my son. Hi, son. Hello. You're in the video now. <laughs> What's your name? James. James, James, nice to meet you. What are you excited for? Oh, I've gotten uh, stuff from both sides of this place. Okay. Okay, look cool. Yep, Thank RPG you. books are mainly what I was here for. Was there one th one that... That would be Things from the Flood. Oh yeah, I heard yeah. about that. Okay, thanks for saying hi guys. Okay, thank you. Okay. 
Yes. Awesome. Never done it. This is heaven for Gen Con for D and D players. Absolutely. This is amazing. We're, we're overwhelmed with the people that have been here. Uh huh. Civil Hall. Yep, that's it. And so we we only like kind of scratched the surface. Oh my god. Now we're exhausted still. Uh, we, we really appreciate. Thank you for saying hi. Your, your videos are uh, indispensable. I tweeted about it and said, okay. if you're going Gen Con, Ellie's videos are indispensable. Uh, yeah, I mean we learned a lot. We looked at your what to bring and all that great stuff. Okay. And I was like, I wonder if I'll see her there so I can let her know because it's always cool. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you all right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Of course, you guys. Hello. Hello. How are you? What's your name? Where are you from? I'm Megan Kizor. I'm from Indianapolis. She's wonderful and she's very kind and she follows me on Twitter. Oh, I have I a do. Twitter. It's yes I like pie with underscores everywhere. She's amazing. <laughs> amazing. I just try my best. You, you're wonderful. <laughs> uh, can you tell me what you're most looking forward to at Gen Con this year? Um, absolutely everything actually. This is yeah. my second Gen Con so. Um, there is so much for you to experience. I want to try like the LARPing thing. Do it. Yes. Yeah there's a, there's a group called Bring Your Own Vegetable. Oh yeah. And they are really yeah. great with new players. Oh, I great. highly recommend them. And if you tell them you're a new player, they'll help you out. Oh, that's so. amazing. Great. Uh, are you doing that this year or another year? I'm going to try, yes. <gasps> I'm really excited for you. So am I. Okay. So Have a good time. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I'm now running to my event over at Lucas Oil. I have not gotten to talk to you guys at all today, I think. Um, so I have 10, 15 minutes to get to my event. So I'm gonna bucket it over there and hopefully fill you guys in on what's been going on. Oh, I'm just recording one. You wanna wave hi? What's your name? Hello, I'm Glenn, how are hi. you? Hi Glenn, thank you. Um, Glenn is wonderful. Let's talk about the exhibitor hall. It's huge. I did two-ish hours, two to three hours yesterday and got through 10 rows. So I got from 100 to 1,000. And um, I take my time because I have to film, you know, all the things that I care about. I film all the things that uh, catch my eye and uh, I'm interested in. Then today I made it to row 20, 300 or something like that. So I did like 13 rows and tomorrow I'm hoping to finish that up. Um, I haven't seen anything other than that hat from yesterday. By, by the way, if you still haven't voted on which hat I should buy, go ahead and vote in, in the comments on the other video and let me know which hat I should get. But um, I haven't super fallen in love with anything else yet, which is surprising for me. Usually I end up with this huge list of things I want to grab or even try out. but. I don't know. I don't know what it is this year. Maybe I have everything I want and I'm just perfectly happy. Uh, I was watching Stuart play um, Super Robo Rally, uh, Lego Super Robo Rally, something like that. Robo Rally is a board game, a small board game with robots. You, pro you take turns playing cards to program the robots to do things and then on your turn 
everybody's turn happens at the same time. So um, sometimes some really interesting things can happen. They, at Gen Con, they have a giant super Robo Rally version of that where they've actually programmed robots to take the moves that the players enter using a, an iPhone or a device, which is way cool. It is very difficult to get a ticket. Tickets are around 20 bucks to play it. And uh, you sign up using the regular Gen Con system. I think it's just called Super Robo Rally. When you type in Robo Rally, it'll pop up. Um, I highly recommend it. It's a thing that I've seen or that you see for years at Gen Con. It's just always there. And it looks really cool. And you think you know what's going on. So this year was the year I wanted to try it out. And then to my painting class. I went to a painting class just now with um, uh, in the Minnie's painting room. And we learned how to paint OSL, which is original source lighting. So if you're painting miniature, it's as if the light was like, strong, severe light was coming from this direction. So it's not just like painting in the colors, it's also shading it with a specific light source in mind. Um, that was okay. The room seemed a little disorganized. Like the instructor was a little late. I think they got some wires crossed on timing for the class, but also the table numbers were not the table numbers uh, on the event ticket. It looks like they had moved some things around and gotten that confused. So that was weird. But all in all, the class was pretty good. It was a little more self-directed than I wanted it to be. If I'm going to a class to learn something specific, I'd hope that the teachers really like, here's how you do the thing exactly, rather than, yeah, you kind of just put color on it. <laughs> like, I know that. Where specifically, can you give me some more rules, some more specific information about where those colors go and how it works and stuff like that. So, so it wasn't bad or anything, and it wasn't even disappointing. It was just, I expected just a little bit more. Oh, and electronic tickets. This, the Super Roller Robo Rally game was an electronic ticket that I had, and it was amazing. Electronic ticketing is the way of the future. Like, I just walked up to the event, they scanned my badge, and it was done. I didn't have to carry my badge, the ticket around, pick it up, and for an event organizer, like for my event that I'm about to do now, I have to collect tickets, put them in an envelope, count the tickets, do some math, enter that information then bring it back to like an hq with electronic tickets you scan it it's done like no more hassle on my part no more hassle on their part it doesn't matter like it was so good i want all of my events from the from now on into the future to be electronic tickets it was so good and a safety professional that's cool <laughs> yeah wow she's gonna survive longer than you guys but Probably. You know. um uh, how do you like this game we're playing the normal game the usual this is very interesting it's interesting we are actually this is probably the most difficult game of this that i've seen being played the clues that we got in this particular game have been the more difficult ones in the combinations that we've had them. So they're powering through. They've not yet lost. Okay. But one wrong, one wrong move and it could happen. I wanted to thank you guys for coming. It was a pleasure. It was my nice meeting you. Yeah. I've, we've watched your videos for so long. We feel like we know you. Oh, thank you. A lot of people say that. And that's why we didn't come on Sunday morning. You what? And that's, and that's why, why we didn't come on Sunday oh. morning. We Thanks. had two options. It's like, she's not a morning person. <laughs> I have to be a morning person, but I appreciate it. Thank you. You're not going to get the best version of me on Sunday, I promise you. Thank you so much, though. Thank you. What are your names, please? I'm John. My name is Richard. Nice to meet you, Richard and John. Well, uh, how did you like uh, gaming with Nelly? It's great. Awesome. Is that your cosplay? Yes. Okay. I got your card, my husband gave it to yes. me, so I'll, I'll, can I link you in the comments? Yes, somehow? you can. Alright. Face, Face your, your fear and ride on. Right on. on. Alright, you did it. Hey, did you want to say hi to anybody? Do you want to tell me what you're excited about? Do you have any comments for Say hi to my girls, uh, uh, Tiffany and uh, Caitlin and 
hi to my son, Evan. All right, well, thank you so much. I am chuffed that you guys came along. I'm very excited uh, that you said hi. It really means a lot to me that you watch my videos and said hi to me, so thank you very much. Yeah, it meant a lot just meeting you. Yeah, oh, you too. Bye, you. <laughs> I love you guys, bye. 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 Now, it's not draw two and pick one, and then I have to play both of these, right? Of course. Yes, yes. Uh, ha -ha! Science fair, suckers. Geeks gained one cool point. Game on cool point. Here, club's better. Geeks can also give one cool point to another click if they wish. I like the science club. <laughs> <laughs> it was a fastest turnaround. <laughs> All right. Our powers unite, we can take over the school. Remember, we went on a stage. Ooh! <laughs> Dang! That was literally, you know what? That was actually the best play. That was the best play. It was. And the punk sat it out, too. You get a cool point. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm sick of having getting these cards. I haven't gotten one of the other ones yet. Nick and Trevor from? Uh, Corton, Indiana. Oh, so you're local. Yeah, you're yeah. cheating. Like two hours. <laughs> <laughs> cool. You guys have been here since Wednesday? Yep. What are you most looking forward to in the next couple of days? Uh, more games. Yeah, buy more, more games. games. <laughs> yeah, buy more games. <laughs> it sounds like you guys are yes people, which is like, demo? Sure. Let's do it. Let's try it out. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Is that the advice you would give to viewers? Just be open to things? Yeah, yeah. yeah just be open. Try, try anything. Try. Yeah. What? Try it at least once. Thanks for saying hi. Yeah, no problem. It's good meeting you. Hi. <laughs> hi, Derek. Hi. How are you feeling, Derek? Derek got sick today. No. Yeah, he. So. Oh my god. Yeah, Derek was like, hey, no, you wouldn't have any painkillers, but he has no reason, no reason, not even worry about it. Just you know, would you have some? Derek doesn't see that. There's no, there's no reason to, for that to be no reason. So I went over there and his head is about to explode with a headache. Like I could see his head trying to escape from his skull. And also he was like all nauseous and tired and stuff. And he is little stressed Derek. He's such a cutie. So we gave him, we pumped him full of pink colors, told him to go take a nap for an hour. And now he's all better. I did not take a nap for an hour. What? I told you to take a proper nap. Yeah, but I didn't have time. Oh my god. I had a meeting. <laughs> Derek, you have to take care of yourself. I did. If you want to take care of yourself, I'll take care of you for you. What? Are you going to kill me? No. Um, Derek really appreciates being called Nelly's husband. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just, you're the famous one now. It used to be that, like, at Gen Con, people would stop me and be like, Hey, Derek, what's up? And Nelly would be like, doop -a -doop -a -doop. And now it's like, Oh my God, Nelly, you're the best. And I'm just like, I'll hold your bag. 
I I like it because I think it's really funny. <laughs> so we played a new game today called Oh My God, Stacy, <laughs> and it it was fine. It's um it's essentially like a fluxy type uh, card game where the rule and rule and different conditions are constant constantly changing and piling up. Um, essentially, you're you're assume the role of a variety of different cliques from high school like the jocks and the geeks and the punks and the skaters and stuff like that uh, you're trying to collect gear to win pizza points and once you fill up your pizza you win the game and uh, it's very fluck it felt like playing like a more advanced version of a flux game and it was really silly and fun for a while this is a <laughs> and the box is a what trapper keeper what is a trapper keeper you have to keep that in the video <laughs> okay to, yeah. is that an america thing <laughs> sure no you have to say it now i know but like it, 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 a trapper keeper is just a trapper keeper like okay a trapper keeper in my brain is you've trapped a rabbit but you don't want to eat it so you're going to keeper it no but like a trapper it's a trapper keeper okay but a trapper it's not a trapper eater it's like a, a trapper it's keeper like a folder Mixed with a notebook, mixed with the 80s. See? A folder with a notebook. It's a folder, but it's also a notebook. Can, and it's a, it, see? See it? See? I guess, can I see that? So for, the, for those of you that are also confused about that, what that is, I guess it's this thing. See, it makes sense. And this one, it kind of looked like this, like that multicolored thing there. That's kind of what the box looks like. Uh, I thought the box was a cool shape. Yeah, it's a trapper keeper. <sighs> oh my God, Derek. Tomorrow is Saturday. That's the last full day with my friend. I'm going to cry right now. No, I'm trying not to cry, Derek. Don't. I only get to see the... Which I got. What's here? for a couple of days and then it feels like it's just over so quickly. I feel like I waste all my time at Gen Con doing all these things not with my friends. Yeah, see, so you waste your time looking after me. You should hang out with your friends instead. Don't worry about me. Anyway, I miss them a lot. So, yeah, I had so much a good time with all my friends and all of you. What I wanted to say is that I got through Friday without crying. Technically, it's Saturday, so you did. I did get through. So, if any of you have been watching my vlogs year after year, you know that on Fridays I cry. <laughs> and, like, I get drained emotionally and... Is sensorily a, a word? Mm -hmm. Sen I get drained sensorily. Mm -hmm. I, get over I get sensory overload. That's what I'm trying to say. And I'm just so tired. There's so much noise, there's so many people, there's so many emotions, and everything just becomes too much. Every single Friday, for like the last eight years on Friday, for no reason, I'm just walking around and all of a sudden it hits me and I'm so exhausted and drained and for no reason I, I get a little like sad and <sighs> depressed is probably a strong word, but... I just end up going back to my hotel room for a couple of hours. I have a little cry and a nap and maybe I'll feed myself. And then I'm fine again. But that didn't happen yet. I mean, maybe it'll hit tomorrow, but I don't know what was different this year from the last few years that it didn't hit me as hard. Because I certainly feel like I've been doing just as much as I have been in the last few years. So I don't know what it is, but maybe I'm winning. I will uh, see you all tomorrow and uh we can get through this together we will have the best second last day of gen con ever we're gonna wreck it i'm gonna wreck it wreck it is not the thing i wanted to say but i did so you're shaking my head good night y'all love ya it's your boy nelly remember to like and subscribe and smash that subscribe like button. What about the bell? And ring that bell. Ding, ding, ding.